So hello everybody, how are you today? If you are creating custom themes for a Power BI using the JSON file, you know how hard that can be, right? So it is difficult to find documentation for the JSON file. It is difficult to find all properties. It is a mess. So I've been battling with that as much as you, but slowly but surely I have started documenting everything and I've created a complete JSON file with all the properties that I could find, which is, I, I have like 95, 98% of all the properties. And not only that, I've also created a report, a part of a report that documents everything, allows me to create those JSON files a lot faster, a lot easier. And I have actually packaged everything and made it available for you to purchase. So if you're interested in those files, if you are creating JSON themes, go and take a look, continue looking into this video because I'm going to show you what those two products do and how they can help you create JSON files easier. We need that. Okay, so continue watching. I hope you enjoy it and give me some feedback in the comment box as always. So I'll see you later. Bye bye. So hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to do a quick tour of how the JSON theme guide looks like and how you can use it to modify or customize your JSON file for Power BI. Okay, so I am on the Power BI desktop. It means that to um, go to a link, I need to control click, right? So the first part is the search by visual. It says here that you select a visual on the slicer, right click on the label you need more information about and then drill through to the property tab. So we're going to control click and this will take you to the first tab, which is the labels tab. And as you can see here, I have all the visuals that I have configured and created property for the ones that I found the information about. So for example, if you click on the matrix, here you will see the JSON name for the visual, which is pivot table. And then here you'll see a list of um, the labels that are available uh, both in JSON and Power BI. Let me show you what that is. If we pick table first and I go here to visualizations, this is a table, right? So now it's showing us the labels for a table. So if I go here to the format pane, you see general style, grid, grid, column headers, they are all the labels, these are the labels. This is what they call labels on the JSON file. They are here on our Power BI file and they are in order also, so it's easy to find. So whatever you want to find here, it is easier to find it here. Now, let's say that we want to configure something about the grid for this. So the only thing you need to do is right click and read through to properties. And it will tell you, take it here. I have this hidden because this is a read through page, but you can change that once you purchase the file. So what you see here is properties for table, visual, and grid, just so you know where you are. And these are the properties that you can set for grid. So now these are, this is a matrix and this has the properties for a table. So let's go back so I can show you what this is. We're going to pick a matrix. Again, pick grid. And now if I choose here, this is matrix, visual, and grid. So we go here, matrix and grid. Here you see vertical grid, grid color, grid thickness, everything is in here. Again, it's in order. So the order that is in here, you have it on the table. So here you have the Power BI property. Here you have the name for JSON, for the JSON file. Here you have the description of what it does. And here you have a value for it. So true, false, if it's a color, if it's a number. Let me show you here on, uh, let's see here, column headers. Let's go back. I'm gonna show you one thing. If we go to column headers, do you see here, we, sorry, go in here, we select, we go to column headers, and do you see here this drop down? You have the information here. This is what value does. It gives you the information. This is 
what is called in Power BI, and this is what you need to write on JSON. If there is no drop down, then you will see if it is a color, if it is a font, if it is a number, whatever it is. So you have an idea of what you need to write. So let's go back home. Now, as you can see, you go back and forth, and this is good if you're just doing a small change, but let's say that you want to do a big change. This is where the general search comes in mind. So here it says select a visual label or property to see which visuals have that property and do bulk editing. So control click because we're in the desktop. And here, as you can see, it will allow us to see everything in bulk. So you will go here to Power BI Visual and say, okay, I want to modify bar charts. So we pick all the bar charts that are, there are. There are three types of bar charts. And here we have all the properties for the bar charts. Now, let's say that you just want to have, I don't know, the legend. And then we just want to modify the font size, text size. So now I know that for this, I have to go to legend, text size, text size, and then this is the font size. So this is where I need to go to change font size on all bar charts. If you want to have font size for all visuals on legends, here you have which visuals have that property and what it's called. Okay, so this allows you to bulk edit faster. Now let's go back home. There are two more tabs. The next one is fonts. And here it lists the name of the font in Power BI and the name of the font in JSON. It is always the same except for this one. Okay, that's at least what I found. And then here it allows you to, I've used this as a guideline for format in Power BI. So for example, here it says for titles, use the bold one, for the legends, use this one, and then for the text, use the Homa. And here you can write some best practices, like this is the normal font we use, and this is the normal color we use, in case people are doing things manually. Let's go back home. And the last tab is colors. And here I have listed all the colors for the Kerbal uh, theme. You probably have different colors. You will have to modify the file and add your colors. So you can also see what the brand colors are, the main colors for the brand, and the other ones are secondary colors. And also save colors. Save color is for web. If you are publishing your reports on the web, if you want to have true colors, those are the colors that you need to use. And here there are some information. You can write some information about best practice for colors for your organization. So this is basically a tour about how the theme guide looks. I'm going to continue updating this file. And if you download it and if you buy it, you'll have a year of updates. So every time I update something within the year of your purchase, you will be able to download it without any further purchases. So hello, everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how the JSON theme for Power BI looks like so you know before you purchase, okay? And there are a few things that you need to be aware of, so I'll show them to you here. First of all, when you open the file, you can use either Visual Studio or Notepad++ or whatever note editor that you want. I use Visual Studio because it's beautifies the JSON code, makes it easier. And I also have installed a plugin called Collapse Level. I have a video on that. I'll post it down below so you can see it on the same place, place that you found this video that allows us to collapse the JSON file and it makes it easier to work with. So if I click Alt F2, you see that it collapsed everything at the level two. If I click Alt 1, it collapses to level 1. It just makes everything much, much easier to work with, actually. And then you can go level 3, level 4. Super useful. Now, things that you need to be aware of. First of all, these settings here apply for the entire report. Same for the text classes, same for the visuals, all the properties that are on the visuals on the star up here, okay? So whatever you have in here, it will override the settings 
the default settings, but if you, for example, here I have the title specified on the visual styles, and then you specified on any of the visuals here, they will get overridden by the ones that are, for example, here on the bar chart, if I open it and I go to title, and I write a title, I put something in here, it will override the general settings. So you have to be aware of that, general settings, local settings, so you don't get confused when you're doing the changes. Now, with that said, you see that I have a lot of properties with an underscore. What that basically means is that I've specified the property in there, but it's not enabled. So it is a way to have all the properties listed without actually having them doing something. So a lot of the properties in this file are disabled. So if you want to enable, you just remove the underscore there. And also there are in different levels. For example, here I have disabled it, the background color. So you have to also be go here and remove it. So you have to be a little bit aware of what is enabled and what is disabled. But it is a beautiful way to actually list everything and have everything available. So when you want to use it, you don't have to write anything. You just modify what you need. Okay, that's one of the great things. Now, I have 29 visuals specified in here. There are 156 properties. And there are you'll see here this is these are the visual this is the label and then level four is the properties so you have everything you need to modify this now this json file together with my theme guide that documents this makes doing json files very 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 easy so i hope that this file is useful for you now if the file is for curable branding but if you want to use it as is, please go ahead, no problem. Even if it's for your own company, if you like what you see, go ahead and use it. I'll be perfectly fine with that. So now that you've seen how the file work, I'm going to show you very quickly how you can get it. You go to curva.com, then you go to shop and download. And here you will get the three downloads that are available. You have the complete JSON file, the JSON guide and the JSON file, and then the JSON guide. So you can buy it separately or you can buy them together. You just click add to cart and then you will, um, you go through the checkout process as always, buy it. And once you have it, you will get a link on the, on your email, but because you have updates throughout a year, if you go here to register my account and you are logged in, you have to be logged in and you go to downloads, you'll find the downloads for the products that you purchased here. And then here you have when the download expires. So you will be able to come in here and download every time I upload a new version. New versions will be updated on the Power BI blog here on the blog, on Kerbal blog, but also on my YouTube channel. So if you're a subscriber, you'll probably see when I do new updates. So if you want to get it, just kerbal.com, shop, downloads, and then you'll find all the products in there ready for you. So I hope this video was useful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.